Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the worst books that I read in 2017. So the way that I chose these books was based on the rating. So I went back and looked and I chose books that had a rating below a three. Um, so overall, like most of these are like two. Um, one of them is a one out of five, but overall, like it was a generally really good reading month. I feel like a lot of them were kind of in the threes, but there were a few standout ones, um, which you can see in my favorite books of 2017 video which is already live so you can go and check that out. So there is five books here um, that I it worked out perfectly that there was five. Um, so yeah without further ado let's get started. So the first book that I chose for this one was Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake which I gave a two out of five stars and I found like the plot like I thought the plot everyone was raving about this book when it came out. So I was really excited so I picked it up from the library and I read it when I had my ACL surgery and it was just really boring like the plot, it felt like it could be have so much potential to be such an amazing book following three sisters who are separated at birth and are forced to compete against each other till the death to make their kind of kingdom make themselves queen, which I thought was such an interesting, interesting plot, but it just kind of backfired. The author was all over the place. There were so many side characters and all that stuff going on. and love triangles which I'm not a big fan of at all and it was like there's a lot of problematic issues in here as long as the storyline just being dry and not a lot happened for the first like 98% of the book so like I don't know I was really disappointed in this book I felt like it had so much potential to be so much more but it just fell flat so the next one was the Tales and Teacups book club pick I want to say for like April and it was Modern Girls and I was really excited for this one it basically kind of followed uh, two women in kind of the uh, mid 1900s and just kind of their role like one of them is wanting to be like works as a secretary the other one's like a very traditional Jewish mom that's kind of sacrificed everything for her children and just kind of the roles that they have and just in the changing worlds and I felt like this one again could have so much potential it did raise a lot like I did learn a lot about Jewish culture but I found the main, like character Dottie just be really irritating and so self-centered that it just was so irritating I feel like this one could have been because it is called modern girls I thought it could have had a really good feminist twist in it but it was just like oh, I really could not stand it and the character and all that so I was just really disappointed with this again like I said it could have so much potential and just kind of showing women's like roles that they had in the 50s being like a secretary and moving on up and like Dottie's really smart with math but it doesn't go any further with that so I was really disappointed with this I felt like again it could have been so much better. Next one is this is one I'm really sad to put on here and it's Black Dove White Raven by Elizabeth Wine and Elizabeth Wine wrote the Codename Verity I guess kind of trilogy now and that's like Codename Verity is probably one of my favorite books of all time so I was really excited this was her only book that I haven't read of hers yet. Basically this follows um, two kids whose moms do like the aerial shows um, kind of in the 30s and one of the one day their plane crashes and one of their mothers di like mother dies so she takes in her best friend's son who is from who is of African descent and her mother's dying wish or I guess just lifetime wish was to move to Africa to so that her son could experience his culture and I don't know I felt like I really enjoyed kind of the historical and cultural aspect in kind of showing Africa during this time um, but and just kind of the events leading up to kind of World War II that were kind of trickling down into uh, the country as well. So I thought that was really interesting. However, I wasn't attached to any of the characters. I felt the mom just to be very juvenile, juvenile and just uh, she really irritated me and I didn't really like any of the main characters. I wasn't attached to any of them and at like kind of towards the end I was hate reading to them and I also gave a 2 out of 5 as well. So this is the only one that got a 1 out of 5 throughout the whole year and it was Against the Tide and this one like I'll link my Goodreads review um, down below so you can go and check it out because I go, go into detail but I felt this one to be I like at that like kind of towards the end I was just hate reading it because I was so mad so basically it follows this girl in the 1800s who has a really good job at like the ship navy yard and then she ends up crossing paths with this dark and mysterious man and he kind of gets her into trouble 
and his like life goal is to basically stop the opium crisis and I like hated this book like so bad like I like people have a right to believe whatever they want to believe religion wise like I'm totally fine but don't push other people to believe in your religion and this is what this book did it basically went on a rant talking about like the dark and mysterious man forces this girl he makes fun of her because she her parents like would pray to the stars and that's what she do and he's like no you need to believe in God and all this stuff and like I don't I think that's where a lot of problems are in our world is because people push other people to believe what they believe so I'll link my review down below where I go into more detail about it but I hated this book like it was horrible I don't recommend reading this and yeah it's like a lot of the problems that we see in the world are like the reason why they exist is be like is this book is a prime example of why there are problems and I hated it and I never want to look at it again finally the last book this one I gave like a 2.52 out of 5 stars and it was Burrow Rights by Hannah Kent and I was really excited to pick this one up because I've heard so many great things about it and it's based on a true story um, so it follows a woman named Agnes who was the last woman to be beheaded in Norway I could be totally wrong um, but she was the last woman to be beheaded in one of those countries there um, and basically this follows her story and so the she's forced to live with this one family and while she's there she's kind of revealing that maybe the like the murder was wasn't as it seems and I don't know again this book I felt like it could have been so much better than it actually was it was like all over the place you would start to she would start to tell the story and then she'd stop and then she'd start again and stop and it was just like so like slow and boring that I just like could not care less about it and then like court like the end was basically a hundred pages of info dumping and I just couldn't believe it and I like I this one as well I wasn't attached to any of the characters they were just really irritating and I don't know there were so many problematic things with it that I was just like it could have been like they could have made it so much like better and because it is based on true story but I don't know and there's like characters that had the same names but they were different characters and it was hard to keep track of who was who and yeah this book just I was really disappointed because I'm a sucker for like historical fiction even though like she builds like the fictional story around it but this book just did not live up to the hype. So that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comments below what some of your least favorite books were if you've read any of these what you thought about it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye guys